Saturday and I thought I would start vlogging again. I've um, missed a few days because I had other content going up on my channel and um, so I try and do like just the one video a day so that you've got time to watch it. <laughs> I was just trying to catch you doing your funky dancing in the background. You just got it with your hair, you've got one bit going like that. John was just dancing, fashion. Um, yeah. So John was just dancing behind me and like trying to put me off while I was doing stuff. Naughty John. So yeah, I try and put one video up a, on my channel at a time per day so that um, it's not too overwhelming. So I've had other content. I've I'm in that thing at the moment. Like sometimes I don't know if other YouTubers find this, but like sometimes you have like loads of content and you don't have enough time like you know you're like I want to put that out now I want to put that out now and other times you don't have any con any ideas and content you're like oh I don't know and I'm at that point in the moment when I've got quite a few ideas um I think it helps the season because like I've been doing a few um planner videos because it's like planner season with people kind of thinking about their new planners for the new year so I've been doing that um and I'm really feeling really festive as well myself. It's really windy here today, isn't it? I'm really not running off my feet. Mm -hmm. Did you? John's just been to the post office for me because I was still in my pajamas until a minute ago. I feel really like last night. I sat on the sofa and I was just doing some crafty things, and John was reading and playing with his records, and then we both fell asleep on the sofa, didn't we? And then in the end, it was like one o'clock when we went to bed, and so now I'm like, but then you have to put like the girls to bed and stuff. So I'm feeling quite tired this morning, probably look quite tired, and um, I feel like I've got a cold coming, which isn't good, probably tired, particularly as tonight I'm out. I'm off dancing tonight, going to my works, not my works, my best friend's works Christmas do. I'm her date tonight, and it's a dinner disco thing. So off to that tonight. John's got to fend for himself. That thing. <laughs> fend for yourself. You and the girls. Quiet night in. Yeah. Although he's got to take me and pick me up again. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. You gonna say hello to everybody this morning? We're having a lazy pottery kind of day today. John's out in the garden. He was cleaning his car, um, changing the headlight bulb on his car and doing bits and I'm pottering and the girls are asleep. Are you sleeping? <laughs> that was a cover me back over for God's sake mum. <laughs> okay then. Florence is in the moving box. She's chewing boxes. I don't know where Bay is. I think Bay's under the blanket somewhere. They The, the guinea pigs absolutely love having a blanket that they can sort of tunnel and burrow in they absolutely love it so i can see there's a lump there who's that <laughs> who's that that's a betty bobbins which means a bake uppy cake there's bake uppy cake in there so florence is in there and nibbles and luna are just grooming and stacking they're all cleaned out for the morning got the washing machine on the kitchen is now cleaned fairly. I need to sweep the floor because um, I dropped flour on the floor last night when I was making bread. But pretty much house isn't too bad right now. Yeah, a few bits that need doing. It's always like housework day on Saturday and just sort of titivating. So today yeah, we're having a pottering around kind of day. John's doing his own thing. He's got a few, he's got a list of things that he wants to do change light bulbs and stuff today we're gonna and that's what I'm gonna start doing now we're gonna get the Christmas decorations down from out of the loft we are getting our tree tomorrow which is pretty exciting um, getting the tree tomorrow but we're gonna get the decorations down from the loft today and so I'm just gonna go around the house and um, gather up all of the autumn decor bits and pieces and do that and get that guinea pigs are whooping now and um 
get all those together ready for going up in the loft but the first thing I want to do is sort out my mug cupboard because um, it got a bit crazy so I'm a little bit like I do like seasonal mugs I have to say and um, I've still got my mug cupboard is looking a bit crazy because I've still got my spring and summer mugs in there as well as my autumn mugs so I need to put those up in the loft with the spring and summer decorations the decor items um, yeah so that's what I'm gonna do today and yeah I just feel tired today just like oh didn't bother putting any makeup on today because I'm going out later and I'll end up having to put loads of makeup on later so so obviously I'm keeping my winter and Christmas mugs down. These are just the ones that um, I've got in the cupboard. This one's new actually, it's from Avon. Um, yeah, I bought that this year because I like it. Um, this is one with my own artwork on that I had done last year or the year before, I can't remember now. Um, obviously that's a winter one, not necessarily a Christmas one. And I've got my Starbucks mug that I got for Christmas. Oh. They, do they date these things? Uh, 2008. 2008, so I've had that a long time. That's a winter one because it's got snowflakes on it. So I'll leave those down because obviously it's uh, winter time now. I do have more Christmas mugs in the Christmas decorations though because I am a little bit of a mug addict. Uh, the ones I'm going to put up are like these. This is like my Valentine's mug. John bought me this a long time ago. Um, spring, other spring summer ones. Got my grab a cup of sunshine that the girls got me for Mother's Day, and my Easter chicks. What are you doing with your gloves on? Gardening. Yeah. Gardening. You look like you wanted to ask something. The cardo Nancy. The what? Cardo Nancy. Oh, but food shopping. Well, just tell him. Just tell him to put it in the hall. <laughs> Apparently, I've got to go. So then I've got my uh, spring chicks one and this one and this one isn't any particular season but I've got a lot of mugs in the cupboard so I thought that could go up in the loft and um, I've got a few of my autumn ones in the dishwasher but this is one of my autumn ones that can go up in the autumn decor as can my owl he's an avon one as well so he's rather like the um deer one. Oh, and this one is one that um is very some spring summery and then these ones we've decided we don't actually like so they can go to the charity shop this one love the design and the handle but the handle you can literally only get two fingers in so it's that one I've never really dug this one, digged it, never really been into this one. So um, that can go to the charity shop. And this one is just way too small. So there's three to put in the um, charity shop um, box for when we've next got a charity shop run. So food shopping has arrived. We get our food shopping delivered by Ocado. What you got there? Did that come from Ocado? Mm. What is hey, it? Parsnips. Yeah. Posh parsnips, aren't they? Pardon? Posh parsnips. Posh parsnips. How many parsnips did you order? <laughs> I don't know. A Posh kilo... back the tractor up, madam. <laughs> <laughs> One kilogram of parsnips, because I'm doing that parsnip and potato dauphinoise. Oh. And that needed quite know. a lot of parsnips. Pardon? I don't know. Not dauphinoise, um, gratin. Gratin. That's okay. Gratin. Yeah, oh, no, right. I know you don't like dauphinoise. It's very pretty. And then um, I also got parsnips because you like parsnips on a roast, don't you? Oh. John's got the big supply of loo roll. We literally have hardly any loo roll in the house. Oh, you should have bought more than that. Winter, what if we get snowed in? When was the last time we ever got snowed in? We never know, do you? That's true. Is that a Christmas card? That is a Christmas card. Ooh. So I'll, I'll do a food shopping haul in a moment. I shall get it all out on the side and show you what we got. I just wanted to show you because the post has just been this card. I ordered it off of Etsy for my um, goddaughter. And it's, um, these have come on it, which is really sweet. That is so nice, isn't it? But um, yeah, so it's customised. My goddaughter is five. Well, one of my goddaughters. I've got, I lose track. <laughs> I've got a lot. Um, 
hang on, have I? Yes, sort of. The sort of got anyway. Um, that was a long story. Look, I had it customized. She's well into Frozen, Princess Fallon. I just thought that was so lovely. And yeah, so she's well into Frozen, and she's getting a Frozen this and a Frozen that for Christmas. So I've bought her a Frozen tutu, um, like a dress up costume tutu thing. And I thought that would be really nice to have a customized card. So I got that from Etsy, which is really nice. Started to get some Christmas cards in now, which is really nice. These guys are from some of you who watch my YouTube. That's really sweet of you. Thank you very much. And yeah. So it's starting to look Christmassy around here. It's kind of confusing with the goddaughter thing because I've got two definite goddaughters who, like, we went to church and did the yes, I'll be your goddaughter thing. But then we've also got two of our friends' kids who we're like, we're not, like, they didn't do a christening, so we're not like godparents, but we're on their, like, if something happens to them, if they die kind of thing, we're their, um, we would be their guardians. So kind of treat them like god kids but they're not technically god kids because they're not christened very confusing let me do the food haul now okie dokie so let's start at this end and work our way over so um uh cox's apples got one two lots of cooking apples because john promised he was going to make a crumble what are you pointing at why are you put it? I know, I've run out of room on the side, so I was going to do the first half and then the second half. Got you. Got you. Obviously, you've seen the parsnips over there. And we've got a thing of potatoes. Um, three red peppers. Um, I usually buy rice noodles, but they didn't have any, so they've substituted egg noodles. <laughs> what was that big half for? Complain. Put it? Complain. That's not good enough. <laughs> We do get substitutions sometimes when you order online. Not good. What? Failed me. Failed you because of egg know. noodles. But it's okay because you're only vegan-ish. You're not fully vegan. Yeah, but I don't want egg noodles. Oh, for goodness sake. We've got egg noodles, so sure up. <laughs> Pack of carrots, which Nibbles will be so happy about. Look at your Nibbles. Ah. Uh... It's snuggle time. <laughs> I think it's asleep. Yeah. It was snoring a little bit. Are you right in there, Nunu? got a nice soft blankie to sit on so it's just snuggled um so yeah pack of carrots red peppers broccoli got a cucumber oh what was that was it a kite oh man there it is there it is we get them loads in this um well our neighbor keeps getting a hawk in his garden so it could be a hawk no, it's got the tail that's like hawk is it oh man missed it over there now. It's gone. It's very windy. Look at that poor crow. Like, yeah. woohoo! Oh, we get them a lot in this garden, don't we? Because we're near, because we're near a nature reserve and mm. lots of wildlife, and we're in a village and surrounded by woodland. And our village, you have to drive anywhere to go, and it's like all surrounded by woodland and fields and stuff. So, yeah, we do get quite a lot of wildlife and birds of prey around here. Yeah. Yeah, Adrian said the other day he had a hawk in his garden, and by the time he got his camera out, yeah, it's gone. the damn thing had gone. Um, so where was I? Oh yeah, uh, cucumber, celery, two rolls of pastry, because I'm rubbish at making my own pastry, and I th I'm making a pie this week, but I also mm -hmm. thought, I did buy some mince pies, but I also thought I would make some mince pies as mm -hmm. well, as it's Christmas That's now. Exciting, isn't it? It is. So I've got some oranges and lemons. I've got some quite a lot of ingredients for making Christmas cake and um, Christmas pudding. I've um, got some green beans, spring onions, got some button mushrooms, uh, shiitake mushrooms, plums. John said he might make a plum crumble. Mm, yeah, I've got that. These are home ripening plums, so you might have to do them next weekend. What? I don't know, we'll see. They're quite firm at the moment. But I have got lots of apples, because you wanted to do roast apples with your roast dinner. Yeah. Try it. Well, they were on buy one get one free, so I bought two packs. So you could do, you could do a crumble, and okay, roasted apple with your. Only you need one apple, no. I know, but there you could only buy cooking apples. You could only buy them yeah. in bags. You couldn't buy one cooking apple, oh. and then the bag was buy one get one free. So you know, uh, sunflower, uh, sunflower spread, courgettes, big bag of kale for us and for the girls, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. 
Or raspberries, darling. I love saying raspberries. <laughs> cream. Um, soya cream, breadcrumbs, that's for the Christmas pudding. Now these, it's not food, but I saw them when I was looking for mince pies. Oh, they thank God, because we were running out of candles. <laughs> <laughs> what? God. We were nearly down to one cupboard full. Look at that face. What? <laughs> Have you finished? Yes. Are you expecting power cuts? <sighs> Two years? It's to make the house smell nice. Ah, oh, they're smelly, are they? Yeah, yeah. Right, words. so anyway, while I was buying mince pies, these came up. They are mince pie fragranced tea lights, I have, you know. That sounds terrible. <laughs> they smell so nice. That's, that sounds terrible. They smell exactly the same as the, like, red ones. The spiced Christmas ones. You're such a heathen. Mm. Oh, men. <laughs> Bananas, sweet potatoes, normal potatoes, onions. This is a vice of mine. It's very naughty, but it is what it is. Oh, my little indulgence. Marmalade, John's hot chocolate. Polenta, puccini mushrooms. Um, crunchy peanut butter. This whole earth one is my favorite, so I get the jumbo size one. Ground almonds, whole blanched almonds. Tahini, ground coriander, jumbo sultanas, they're for both the Christmas pudding and the Christmas cake. I'm not a fan of currants, so I don't put them in. I've already got raisins um, in stock. Um, in, in stock, in the cupboard. Dried apricots, brown sugar, Guinness. Guinness is to go in the Christmas pudding. It's my nan's old recipe. Plain flour, two things of passata, and some almond milk. And I'll put all that away, and then we'll do the next round. Okay, so that's the last of the bits and bobs. So we've got some orzo pasta, uh, brand meat apple sauce. This is to replace, um, it's the first year that I'm going to be making a Christmas cake um, and veganising it. Uh, so I'm going to try using apple sauce in it rather than eggs. We'll see how that goes. Um, bought some mince pies, got two mince pies. Um, One's for us and the other one I am sending to my mum and dad in Italy with, along with their Christmas presents. Oh, this feels quite heavy, so maybe... I didn't last year, we didn't end up sending them, did we? As I was say, that one seems really heavy, so maybe not. Mum did say she has found some mince meat um, in, in the shop. Make her own, good gosh. Um, Put mince meat on pastry. No, making your own mince meat. You've got to find all of the candy peel and... No, you can't you buy mince meat. No, she's found mince. Uh, yeah. yeah, she's now found mince meat in jars. Yeah. But yeah. So she can make her own pies. She can make her own pies. Yes. Yes, she's found the jar of mince meat. But yeah, but she has actually found all the ingredients. They've made their own Christmas puddings over there now. Yeah. She has found all the ingredients in one of the shops. Um, so we've got some glacier cherries and some candied peel. They're for the Christmas pudding, the Christmas cake. Um, look at that massive bag of cloves. Love the smell of cloves at Christmas time. I'm, gonna do some, I'm probably going to do a studied orange at some point. Um, tin of butter beans, vegetable suet, that's the Christmas pud. Um, sea salt, green peppercorns in brine, that's to go in a pie that I'm going to be making. Um, organic oat cakes. Uh, got some eye makeup remover, some furniture polish, and some olive oil. And that's everything that I got in my food haul. Just have to show you the craziness that is like right now. Like, what the hell is this? So, yeah, John chopped down a load of stuff from the garden that was all dead and dying, and um, it's got stuff all around. It's really itchy. It's itchy. <laughs> um, and he was like, I go to the dump to the car, and I was like, Oh, I could do a poppy into town. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to the dump. <laughs> it's just going, it's coming across my face. We're going to the dump to get rid of this into the compost bins they have there. And uh, yeah, then we're going, John wants to go to the charity shop, don't you? If we're popping past, I will, yeah. Why do you want to go to the charity shop? Have a look at a few, see if they've got any records these days. Yeah, you realised that you gave away a load of your records, didn't you? I did, I don't think there was anything good there. I think it was stuff from grandparents and things. But yeah, I didn't give away anything we'd probably listen to. Mm. 
There must be some more somewhere in the house. I don't know where they are. I know I'm definitely missing like Fleetwood Mac and stuff like that. <laughs> not the Mac. But I wouldn't have given that away. No, you so would not have given so, Fleetwood Mac away. There must be a pile somewhere. Yeah. Ah, so John's going on the scavenger hunt for records. I want to go to the card shop because I bought my mum a bracelet for Christmas. I can't say that. My mum's probably not watching. She only rarely, she only occasionally watches. It's like, you know, I speak to my mum, she knows what's going on. Like, you know. Um, so yeah, anyway. Hi mum. Uh, and I want to go and get a gift box because I really need to start thinking about sending my mum and dad's presents to because obviously Italy and the post to Italy is so hit and miss from the UK. Letters seem to take longer than parcels, which is odd. And parcels sort of take anywhere from three days to a week. It's really hit and miss. And I'm thinking with Christmas, it's probably going to be even worse. So I need to crack on and get my mum and dad's presents wrapped and sent to them. What are you doing in here, John? Yeah, I know, I can see. I was expecting a commentary. Oh. Moving furniture. For trees. Yeah. So we here in this corner here, we had the sideboard and John has now moved it over there. We had a bit of a debate about where the Christmas tree should go this year, didn't we? Yeah. You thought it was some stupid idea. Well, I said the Christmas tree should go there and then we could leave the sideboard here. Only you said... Well, that side's smaller than that side and last year it came out to the... past the door, didn't it? Yeah, it just seems weird having the sideboard there. Freaking me out, man. It's totally freaking me out. So, yeah, this lot all on the table here... Mess. Pardon? It's mess. Pardon? It's mess. Pardon? Look at it. What? Taking over the whole house. Pain. A cheeky little face. Um, trouble. There may be trouble ahead. What book were you reading? Uh, tell us about I'm your... not reading right now. No, I know, but you were reading last it last night. night. Tell us about your book. Um, what book is it? <laughs> a School in the Hills by Catherine Stewart. Some it's little... It's a sort of easygoing kind of book. It's like this Scottish... I think she's Scottish. Scottish? Woman who lives in the Highlands. Used to be a teacher. About her daily life, she had a croft when they grew stuff. Very conclusive, thank yeah. you. It's nice, just easy going. Okay. I've read of other books. I've had a delivery of a book from Amazon. Uh, yeah, so we just need to start de autumnification process. Mm -hmm. Put the autumn stuff away, ready for Christmas stuff. Yeah. I might uh, put you away. Flop on the sofa. Pardon? Put you away at Christmas wipe out. Christmas wife? Do you have seasonal wives? <laughs> <That'd be nice. laughs> what would a Christmas wife look like? Don't answer that on camera, actually. <laughs> when does not have a crack at me, man? That's not crack, that's very important. <laughs> Crafting and... <laughs> <laughs> that's what the scissors are. I couldn't find any scissors earlier. I only have one pair of scissors in here. Mm. Did you have Why have you got red cheeks? So it's been busy working while you've been lounging. I haven't been lounging. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you have the cheek to say that's rubbish, man. Um. <laughs> so it's glad Jack's on. <laughs> John's laughing at me because I didn't even realise I wasn't filming. I'll get John to show you what I'm wearing. So I'm not really sure what's going on with my hair. But anyway, it's doing something. And then, I'm not really a dress person, so I start to get a little bit self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got a sparkly dress on, and um, my swanky, swanky shoes, and my tights are falling down, so I have to pull my tights up. <laughs> um, yeah, my, my swanky shoes. <laughs> That's my like outfit of the evening to go disco dancing. Well, it's my, fr my friend's work do. So we've got a meal first and then disco dancing. Dash sleeping in the corner. Let's go.